And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower. Today we're talking about a game called Legitimacy. Now, Legitimacy's artwork looks almost like it was taken from the cover of a Mad Magazine. It's funny, it looks like things are going on. In fact, the game itself is all about finding the next heir to the kingdom. And so everyone's running around. The king apparently uh, has lots of kids all over the place. And so you're one of those kids trying to prove that you are the legitimate heir to the throne. That theme itself sounds quite interesting. Going around on adventure and everything. It's a fantasy adventure game. Does that make it good? <laughs> no. No, it does not. Let's look at it. At the beginning of each game, players are going to choose a character that they're going to play. They take the appropriate colored pawn, wonderfully detailed, and they also take the hexagon that matches their player, and they're going to be putting these, I guess, semi-randomly around this, this big hexagon in the middle. So this, if all six players are playing, you have a complete board, otherwise you'll leave some of the spots empty. So this is a, all six players are playing, there you go. And that's a pretty neat looking board. There's also a deck for each of these boards. For example, here's the Plains deck and the Fields deck. And you'll shuffle those decks together. Those are the decks that you'll be using. Players will be also receiving a pet. For example, like the Black Cat. And when they put this pet together with their character, it basically shows your stats. Movement, that's a bonus you get to when you move. Attack, it's a bonus you get when you're attacking someone else. And magic, that's when you're basically making a ranged attack or playing a magic card on someone else. Once again, before I get too far into destroying this game, uh, I will say that I really do like the artwork and I thought the board looks neat. I mean, it looks fun. But, folks, this is what you do on your turn. You roll a die. You add any movement modifiers. Let's say you have one. That means I can move up to five spots with my pawn here. So you look in the different directions, one, two, three, four, five, or I can go one, two, three, four, five, or I can go one, two, three for all I care. It does not matter. Now, where are you trying to move? Well, mostly in the beginning, you're just trying to land on these black spaces, because if you land on a black space, then you draw a card from the deck. Now, decks that you draw can be objects, they can be magic spells that you'll play on another character, but what you're looking for, what you're trying to get is a quest. This quest says, This dusty old tome reveals that a valuable treasure may lie hidden in a burial mound outside the castle. Woohoo! So all I have to do is figure out where the castle is, look for the burial mound. Oh, I see it. It's right there. So all I have to do is get there. And then once I get to the burial mound, at that point I'm going to get a crown jewel. Because I need these crown jewels to win the game. Crown jewels, you draw from that. And, ooh, this one gives me plus six to my magic. Speaking of that, when you attack another player, woohoo, I'm next to you, let's fight! You both roll a die, you add your attack values, the higher person steals a card from the lower person. Magic, you're simply going to be using a magical object, or you're going to be casting a magic spell like catnip on another player, and then you roll a die, add your magic, and if they're that far away from you, then you've succeeded in casting a spell on them. And again, that's all, you know, so you can hurt them or steal their cards. And basically, you're all running around the board like a chicken with your head cut off until one person finally manages to get three crown jewels, in which case, they are the winner. Also notice, and this is exciting, like over here in the swamp, see those green spaces? If you stop in them, you lose a turn. Woohoohoo! Anyway, eventually someone wins and you put the game away, never to pull it out again. I love fantasy games. I love adventuring games especially. Go out, get stuff, find cool things. But this game just doesn't really fit in context. It's just roll and move. Yeah, there's a few choices, but this is, if you like Talisman, maybe you'll like this, but I'm sorry, Talisman has more strategy than this game does. The artwork is great, except for one niggly thing. This, this kind of game is the kind of game that I would say, hey, this will appeal to kids. This is the kind of game kids want. You move around, you fight, it's real simple, but <laughs> the cards are not for kids. There is suggestive cards, Super violent cards, gory cards, uh, you know, if you name it, if you have a problem with it with your kids, it's probably on these cards. So I don't get it. 
I don't get that mishmash. They they went at this higher level in the game, but then it's not for adults anyway, obviously, from the gameplay. So, uh, add to that shoddy card quality, and it's just not that great of a game. Good artwork. Nothing else. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.